Hello, hi, my name is Samuel Izurzer for the SE channel. Thank you for tuning in, subscribe, and share as much as you can. Please take your vitamin C and your vitamin D and your zinc tablets, good for the immune system. And I also take uh, Schweppes, the tonic water. It's got a little bit of quanin, hint, hint, hydroxychloroquine. Um, I don't know, works for me. Whether it works or not, whatever, try it. Um, it's good for the immune system. I do that and um, still around. Okay, so like I said, I, I, I don't know what else to say about Antifa. Um, bunch of thugs, beta males, beta females running around. Uh, I don't know, like bunch of zombies destroying just about everything, you know. They, they couldn't care less. Um, we all know Antifa. I've been saying this for a long time. This is the left arm of the Democratic Party. The left arm, not the right arm. The right arm is CNN, MSNBC, you know, the mainstream media, most of the main, mainstream media. Um, and the left arm is the paramilitary uh, part of it, which is Antifa, BLM, uh, Black Lives Matter, Inc., the Inc. part. Not the Blacks Real Lives Matter. I'm talking the Black Lives Matter. Uh, take a look at it. Uh, you'll see. Uh, when you click Black Lives Matter to donate, it goes right to the Democratic Party. You know, just go see it attack blue. Um, just click, just click, and you, you'll see. It's it's. Where is the money going? This is what I like to know. Where is the money going? You'll see. It's going right to the Democratic Party because they need the money. That's how they raise money. Uh, but um, unbelievable. Uh, there was the Senate. Between uh, Ted Cruz and uh, and uh, what's her name, uh, uh, Hirono from Hawaii, another I don't know I, I I can't even describe her what she is, but she won't apologize. She will not apologize for Antifa or uh, uh, denounce Antifa. Um, to me, they're a terrorist group, like the president said, and they are. Uh, they're coming from abroad uh, just to destroy. They said they're they're going after. Um, the right and Nazis. There's like very little Nazis in, in the United States now, extremely, extremely little. So uh, I knew a couple of years ago when they came, when they started coming out, uh, they said that they're they're anti-fascists. They're not. They're the fascist. They're the fascists. There's the communists. They're everything. And this, the money's coming from abroad uh, to actually destabilize the United States. And I and and they are uh, Antifa, bunch of wimps, uh, white boys. Uh, white girls, most of them, and um, uh, yes, uh, I'm sure they're being paid 100% uh, by left organization from United States and abroad, okay? This is to uh, destabilize the United States. They're here to destroy. They're a paramilitary group. I, it's my opinion, and I've been saying this for two years, they're the left arm of the Democratic Party, okay? A, they will never denounce Antifa because Antifa, you know, works it. But anyways, most people see, they saw what they did uh, about George Floyd. God forbid, you know, anybody should die like that. Uh, it was really bad. But still, the aftermath, they lost me. That's it. BLM lost me. The Inc. BLM Inc. lost me. Antifa went out there on a rampage. And there's just so many businesses right now that are hurting in Portland, Seattle, Chicago, uh, you name it. Uh, they're just hurting. They're just hurting. And they just don't care. These people are getting paid and they don't care. But anyways, let's just hear and you'll see she'll just walk out. And Ted Cruz says, hey, you know, you got a second chance. Let's go, you know, denounce Antifa. <laughs> she wouldn't do it. I'm telling you guys, this is the left arm of the Democratic Party. And I've been saying this, people who've been following me. Okay, here we go. Republicans are constantly using, I have to say, you, you brought it up yourself, the deaths of these black police officers, Patrick Underwood and David Dorn, for uh, making political points. And the fact that it was right-wing extremists who killed Officer Underwood, that seems to be lost in this argument. And, and now there are all these attacks about Black Lives Matter and what they're saying. I mean, how many of us even think that defunding police departments is uh, it should be taken literally? I mean, I certainly don't. So, you know, we have this pesky thing called freedom of speech. 
And I'd say the, 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 the people who support... Freedom of speech? Uh, to tear down museums, tear down statues, destroy businesses, burn down a city. That's, that's freedom of speech for the Democratic Party. That's why they're going to go down in history as probably the worst loss in 2020 ever. They don't know what's coming to them. They have no support idea. Support Black Lives Matter. And if they're calling for various boycotts, the, the, the people who support Black Lives Matter, and if they're calling for various boycotts and all that, that's called freedom of speech. And that's what this hearing title is, protecting speech. So all I can say is, look, we should all join hands and, and denouncing and uh, <laughs> whatever words you want to use about violent extremism of all stripes. And I think we can all agree on that. So to constantly accuse Democrats of not caring about that is re really, uh, I, I, I can only say that you, you, you aren't listening. So I hope this is the end of this hearing, Mr. Chairman, and that we don't have to listen to any more of your rhetorical speeches. Thank you very much. I'm leaving. Well, I appreciate the, as always, kind and uplifting words of Senator Hirono. Oh, thank you. And I would also note that throughout her remarks, she still did not say a negative word about Antifa, nor has any Democrat here. Uh, they instead engage in a political game where they depend. You're welcome to say something negative about Antifa right now. I think that I've covered the subject quite well. You are not listening. Okay. She declined to speak so <laughs> she walks right out here let's see it again quite well you are not nor has any democrat here uh, they instead engage in a political game where they depend you're welcome to say something negative about antifa right now I think that I've covered the subject quite well. You okay. are not listening. Okay, she declined to speak, so... Yeah, see, they just walk right out. She just literally walk right out. They could not care one bit. Antifa did a lot of damage, a lot, a lot of damage. Um, they say that they're working against, you know, like uh, the, the, the right wing and the Nazis. I mean, they're the fascists, they're the Nazis. You see them breaking, throwing bricks at cops destroying cop cars, uh, destroying li literally blocks and blocks and blocks, especially, um, you know, in the black neighborhoods. I mean, come on, man. I mean, you know, if, if when you see when you see the riots, you know, <laughs> three quarter of them are whites. Um, this is this is not this is I, I know what I'm saying. This is a terrorist group that's coming all the way from Europe, coming here. Uh, back Appreciate the as always kind and uplifting words of Senator Hirono. And I would also note that throughout her remarks, she still did not say a negative word about Antifa, nor has any Democrat here. Uh, they instead engage in a political game where they depend. You're welcome to say something negative about Antifa right now. I think that I've covered the subject quite well. You are not listening. Okay, she declined to speak, so...